All right, TC Texas Cannabis here. I just want to start today's video by thanking everybody who's subscribed, who's watched, liked, commented, been engaging with my videos. You're the reason I'm doing this. Thank you so, so much. So today, I'm sharing my interview that I did with Dr. Justin Redding of the Mo City Apothecary. Uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And then after the interview, I have a few announcements, some exciting things that we'll talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Thanks for having me today. I'm Dr. Justin Redding. I'm a pharmacist and owner of Mostly Apothecary. So we specialize in herbal treatments, supplements, um, things to complement traditional allopathic medication regimen or prescription medication. Awesome. Awesome. So I know you get a lot of uh, customers daily. And I'm sure a lot of those people don't have any experience with the plant. Um, if if it is, it's very limited, what they heard off of the street, right? So um, what are some of the most common questions that you get asked daily? I'd say the number one most common question is, if it's going to get me high, or if it's going to show up on the drug team, because... They've heard about the uh, plant. It's been in the news a lot lately with people coming more available, more readily available. And so there's a lot of misinformation out there. I, I do a lot of education about the plant. Uh, and it's not going to get my CBD dominant products. Some contain little to no THC at all. There's no risk of them eating the high. It's going to be a good feeling. Getting people to learn more about their bodies, be able to describe the feeling that they're having is not a high, but an active relaxation, reading the anxiety. Just because you feel good is not a high or intoxicating high. And that's probably a hard concept for a lot of Americans to grasp because you know we think about cigarettes they give you a buzz alcohol gets you drunk yeah. weed gets you high but then there's yeah. the CBD which is supposed to relax you without giving you any effects so I feel like sometimes that might be a hard thing to wrap your head around without experiencing it firsthand awesome yes it can be mm -hmm. uh with new consumers, I'm sure a lot of people also have the hesitation when it comes to smoking CBD, especially here in Texas now with the laws kind of being up in the air with whether you can buy it to smoke or not. Um, what, in your opinion, is the best method of consumption when it comes to CBD? That will depend on the effect you're looking for. If you need something more immediate, Inhalation is going to be sponsored, so you'll feel the effect quickest. Taking things by mouth, swallowing it, so it's these lingual. That'll take a little bit longer. If you swallow it, say capsule or an edible, that's going to take a couple hours depending on your digestion and metabolism. You feel the effects again. It starts, it has to take some time to reach the peak of that. It could still be um, waiting around for a few hours to get the relief that you're looking for. So if you're someone that's having, say, some anxiety, and you need to come down, calm down quickly, an inhale option, vaporize them in the joint, probably be the best for you. If you're not in an environment where you can smoke all the time, maybe doing uh, some oil with the tongue, doing a, a swallow product that will have a new reservation to get you to it. Okay. So when I've been doing my own research, Justin, uh, I've come across several resources citing uh, CBD having some sort of effect sometimes a compounding effect on medications. Uh, can you elaborate on that? 
Yes, so CBD can interact with a lot of medications depending on how they're metabolized in the body. Your liver has uh, uh, this, it's called the SIP enzyme system, where uh, if you're, the drug has the same uh, metabolic pathway, it, it can either inhibit that, where the liver is increased in the body, or it can induce metabolism of that drug, which would decrease it. So you might have to adjust your doses based on that. And if they're uh, medications that have the same effect, so if they're both the daily medications that's going to have potential to have an added negative effect when you take them together, if you're taking let's say, and uh, a seizure medication or, or antidepressant or antidepressant, it could have an effect on those medicinals that those are in the body. So depending, that's why it's important to, you're taking any kind of medication down with the pharmacist, go through your list of medication, exactly how each drug is metabolized, if there's going to need to be some Spacing, where you take your CBD at a completely different day as your other medications, or uh, stop the CBD completely, or just lower the dose of one or the other, so you're still getting the benefit of having to um, worry about the effects or side effects of taking uh, too much of one of each. Interesting. So that kind of makes it pretty obvious that this isn't really just something you should be buying from the gas station. You know, this is something that you right. really want to consult with a physician, someone that's really experienced. Uh, and that's where someone like you comes in. You have your own apothecary and you're, you're not just there to uh, disperse this product. You're there to help teach people as well. Uh, I think that's very valuable. Yes. That actually was my last question I had for you. So I just want to thank you again for uh, taking the time to do this interview with me. I know we've been talking about it for a while. I'm excited that we finally got to do it and that everything went smoothly. Yeah. Um, if you want to just give one last shout out and tell people where you're at, where they can find the store and your social medias. Sure. Uh, come check us out. City Apothecary, cityapothecary.com, at uh, 3708 Texas Apartment, we have MSC, uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, uh, more education videos coming up on our social media platforms and YouTube channel. So help us spread the word, keep your hemp education just so everyone has the right information. So. We can help people heal. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Justin. Um, and I look forward to maybe doing this again with you soon. Hey, we keep, keep on coming. Uh, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for watching my interview with Dr. Justin Redding. Um, he's a really awesome guy. I've known him for a few years now. We've been we've been friends. And I'm really excited to be able to share with y'all his business and hopefully some of y'all take advantage of his cheap prices and go check him out down there in Missouri City. Also, I'm going to be posting the full interview. It's about 20 minutes long. I'll be posting that uh, alongside this video. So if you guys want to check out the entire thing, I'll have the link for it in the description. So. My big announcement that I have, and I'll probably end up doing a, a whole video about it, but for those of you who have stayed and watched till the end of this video, I got my producer's license, so it's official. I'll be growing hemp here pretty soon. I'm one of Texas' first legal cannabis producers. So excited to be able to say that. So, on that bombshell, Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.